Well, in just a few more days of uh, the old way of doing things, and then hopefully not a strange big voice will be up and the Emmys will be over. So um, here we go. The, the press is after Obama like sharks in the water that is smelling blood. This is the, the trick is, is that while the uh, editors of publications in, in the news media may be in tank always for an individual, the people that go out and in the trenches basically make their money by reporting on what's going on. So if they know that somebody's in trouble and Obama is in bad trouble at the moment with them, you know, like the, all these scandals wouldn't be coming out except the press is allowing it to come out. So they're, you know, he's going to have a hard time. So it's not that they're not going to try to destroy the Republican candidates. He's just going to everything he does now that's a mistake, they're going to go after him on. We got um, Al Qaeda chief says 9 11 paved the way for Arab Spring. No. Uh, Barack Hussein Obama paved the way for Arab Spring because he's picking and choosing which countries the United States is going to assist over there and uh, he has more to do with it than anybody else and it, they tend to be members of uh, tribes that he I, I would guess that if you look to Kenya they're probably members of his family's tribe so uh, basically CIA reviewing ties in the US Police Department well after this nonsense was put out that there was a credible thing that was going to be a problem and they shook up everybody over it uh, naturally they're going to have second thoughts because no matter what the president of the united states wants the cia basically does his job um a consumer advocate warren in the lost senate run that she got to run in massachusetts against brown because what the democrats want is somebody to replace somebody that votes to increase spending every time Obama asked for it. So with Brown, they got another Democrat, so I didn't want to remove him, folks. Basically, the, the coyote infested neighborhood against killing them. Well, you can't catch them because you, you can't put them out in the wild because you put them in the wild, they couldn't survive. So they have to be caught and gotten rid of, folks. That's the way it works. Um, Cisco cuts long-term growth forecast. Well, because nobody, I, I, I keep trying to explain this bit, which I read down below, Best Buy hit hard by the recession. That's it. Nobody is buying anything. Nobody has any money. They say, well, businesses are sitting on $2 trillion. Well, because the businesses are all waiting for the taxes that are coming up. You're going to hit by health care and all of this stuff. Nobody is spending money. If you don't spend money, uh, you, business tends to go down the drain as Best Buy is fighting out at the moment. Um, here's a, a central banks decide to heavily invest in um, in the euro in the European market. Once again, the United States has decided that we're going to print more money than to value our money in order to keep the European countries in operation for an, for, for another four or five months. And that's all it's going to be, folks, is for another four or five months. Uh, we got three dead, 56 injured in the Reno Air Race. They're, they're, they're saying, well, that what happens is it, they've had problems in Reno before. And it looks like the, what's going to happen is that the, um, you know, they're going to probably bring an end to the Reno Air Races because the air races are simply too close to the people. As long as they're that close to the people, you have an opportunity of a pilot of a plane. You're flying old planes. The old planes are simply you can't put a 60-year-old plane out there at 500 miles an hour. It just won't hold up. Uh, the friend people are though. They're they're uh, talking about how skilled the pilot was in the Reno thing. That he tried to do this and he tried to do that. Well, all they needed to do was to move the plane to the left, and they couldn't get that done. So. You know, the first rule of a pilot, which I know personally, is that you never, you never land, hit your plane in a populated area. You always aim that plane elsewhere, because if you don't have, it's just, uh, it's the old Jewish saying, you either die as a ram or a lamb, if you know you're going to die. And most pilots decide to do the right thing and to hit, and aim their planes to some place that they're not going to kill people. Uh, we got the GM UAW agreeing a new contract, which basically gives the unions more control. Which remember, we have a president of the United States that favors the unions, so they gave the uh, UAW 
got demand from GM to push it right back in a position it was before with cars that are going to cost too much, health care is going to cost too much, everything is going to cost too much. Uh, based lockdown, military based lockdown, but on the, no gunman was found. Well, you just can't, you know, uh, maybe if and whatever, you, you can't do everything in your life based upon what if. And that's what's happening anymore. Um, Gaddafi loyalists beat back assault on strongholds, yeah. But don't worry, with the help of NATO, they're forging their way in. See, uh, Obama and NATO have decided which Muslim terrorists they want to be in charge in, in, in the Middle East now. Let's see, we got problems with Israel because of what's going on. Uh, you're going to have a totally unstable Middle East because of what's going on, folks. Um, Big Gaddafi, a Palestinian leader, will ask for full UN membership, and he will get it from the General Assembly. Uh, you know that they're not going to. They, the United States has to, because of a, it's an election year, uh, deny him statehood. But the General Assembly only it takes a, 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 a majority vote or something, 136 countries voting to approve their membership. And that's what's going to happen, folks. It, it's, we've already got more, like 169 Muslim countries. There's a lot of Muslim countries out there that don't like Jews or, or others. Um, but just, the, the Jewish people know that if, Ma, if Obama is elected to a second term, there's going to be an all-out hell break loose in the Middle East. REM results outlook stunned investors even after one. Well, because the company, it has to do with the fact it doesn't have to do with people are buying this and people are buying that. It has to do with the people that people aren't buying anything. You're not replacing your blackberries because all you got to do is look at your business letters, you know, emails, and things that you know sent on blackberry, sent on blackberry, sent on blackberry. I mean, half the people I know have blackberries. They don't. And they also have iPhones, <clears throat> but they're the tablets aren't. They're not walking around with a huge tablet at an event, folks. Okay, uh, Geithner is going to go to Europe to explain to them how if they spend more money, the problem isn't that they spent too much money, the problem is that the countries have not spent enough money, and by spending more money, you'll be able to solidify your country. And uh, as I knew, the you know, Senate, um, Senate approved $6.9 billion money for FEMA, which you knew they were going to do. They just wanted a simple question, how are you going to pay for it? Which is not a really difficult uh, question. We got to basically Obama's backing away from Social Security and his deficit plans. He is going to suggest that he's going to use the so-called savings that he got from his health care, Obamacare, as a saving in a deficit reduction, which means he's going to count that the fourth or fifth time he's going to count that as deficit reduction. Where actually he's stealing from Peter to play Paul. Um, Senate panel keeps budget boost for for all of Obama for Obama's agencies that you know so much for the Republicans standing up and doing anything you know the agencies are, are sh causing you know all the financial regulations all the health care regulations all the anti business regulations but um, uh, you know you know that's why um, I say Bonyard has now got a primary that a threat against him in Ohio because they're going to throw they don't care they're going to lose the, the, the Speaker of the House. They're going to throw a rear end out because no matter what the Liberal Democrats are saying, the Republicans have caved on virtually every single thing that Obama's wanted because they could have stopped it. I mean, first of all, Obama had no intentions of letting the country collapse. As it is now, he's saying that there is no danger to Social Security. The check's not being paid after he threaten the Republicans. Well, these checks won't be paid because there's no money. Uh, let's see. U.S. set to sanction BP and its contractors. Well, let's see. So BP has moved out. And they've already paid all of this money, and you know, and that BP basically got all this favorable attention because they were the, the largest provider of green energy in the world at the moment. And Obama wanted green stuff. Um, you can bet that. Uh, and also, they're also the largest provider in, for, uh, in Great Britain for their backup, their social program. So if Obama does too much, he's going to really have problems. Um, analysis, Bachman vaccine comics, toxic doctors say, well, because what it does is it's called speaking before you actually know what you're saying. Now. 
but here's one uh, Monty Butler from Mark Twain The Animal Kingdom there are no loyal, no loyal members of the press when you're in trouble 